All right. So this is um, HOTS TVT, and uh, I'm working on this uh, Reaper Fast Expand build. So the effective idea here, uh, the Muslim was the one who put it on up on YouTube, I guess that I saw it from, slightly different from MVP's build, is that um, you want to get out one Marine and then an early Reaper, and you go to that Reaper, use that Reaper to s scan, I mean to harass, and to take a look at what your opponent's doing, assuming he's blocked off its wall, but he hasn't, and also you harass a little bit. But basically, you keep the Reaper around, see what tech he's doing, figure that out. So, while that's going on, though, your, se your second CC is already being built. So, that CC is very, very early. Here you go. So, I do a bunker, just in case. And I, I think I actually don't need this bunker. I think that's a mistake. But, I think better be safe than sorry. It means my command center is a little late. So, I send out the Reaper. And now I'm about to reach 400. I send out the SCV. I've also got 130 gas, so I can immediately make a factory once I reach my next um, uh, amount of mineral. There it is, factory, so factory. And uh, factory and... Um, Um, command center up. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out why he did what he did. I think it was that I, I, I harassed him. I think he, that's what happened. Let me take a quick look from his vision. So, he sends this out. He's about to go in my base. And he, sees, he gets attacked. So, okay, I kill his SCV building his command center, which is great. And then... Um, um, so I killed one worker, but I killed a really incredible, important worker, um, and I let this guy get killed because I wanted to kill his mule, so I got a little greedy there, which I should not have done. Now he comes back up. Oh, he scouted me wrong. That's what happened. That's really weird. This be good. I don't. That's really weird. So he's going for double Reaper. And again, in the income tab, um, I'm ahead in harvesters. Here it is. So he's, he takes out the guy building my second barracks. I'm still gonna look at his vision. I want to see what he's paying attention to. So there, I start attacking. He starts microing. He's killed one, but it wasn't it not nearly as important. And the reason it's not nearly as important is if we look, his command center is still not building. My command center is done, and I got ref uh, refineries going. So he killed the second one. So this harassment was incredibly successful because he forgot about that. So I used some of my SCVs to kill that one. So he's gotten up me down to four. he's gone and what's going on tech wise so um, again I'm building a barracks and I get my second orbital down and I'm doing hellions and marines and I should have at this point had a starport so that's my starports very late it's good to note now I'm gonna look over here I'll probably notice this harvester not working not. Well, anyway, I've got double mule, so I'm in good shape. Now he finally realizes it. He gets his starport. I get my starport. I'm getting stim here. He's getting widow mines. In the income tab, again, I'm ahead. Do another barracks. Do another factory. I was gonna switch this over, but then I realized no, I really just need one starport. So I uh, one medevac. So let's just do that. Um, I probably could have just gotten the second one and then double dropped, but or sent everything here, grabbed it, set it again, and just kind of dropped them twice. Either way, building more tech 
13 workers, 15 workers, so I've got a good saturation. Three on gas, one, three, that's pretty good. So I see a banshee. So this is really important. Um, this is important because uh, I now know he's going to get a banshee out. And again, I don't know whether he's going for, he's not, he's not going for a uh, cloak, but either way, I instantly have an eBay going down, which I forgot about. I mean, I forgot, but I, you know, it was a little late. Um, and I'm going to take some hits here, but, so, we'll see. I drop in his base. Oh, I ran it into those guys. That was stupid. Then I try to come up here. Take a Widowmine hit. Realize that's not gonna work. And meanwhile, he's doing some good damage here. He's killed 15 SCVs, so. That's some good damage right there, he's done. I've got the turret going down there. I have the turrets down here. I think I sent these guys away to, to live. I don't know why I sent them all the way over there. Um, so he's been building marines where he got no upgrades. Uh, I've got marines, marauders, hellions, and I've got some upgrades. And so right now I'm doing viking because I want air superiority. And I'm getting two armories because I want my upgrades and I want to get more tanks. So. Send a Hellion out to scout, and I believe that scout. Yep, I see the medevacs. So I built some turrets. Ready to two turrets. And bring all my units right here. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Income tab, we're back to even because I'm building SCVs better than he is. Um, and I decided to move out to here take this expansion and I start to destroy the rocks for this expansion so I'm taking my third here he's got a third built but he's not taking it Is he scan? I think I, what did I scan? who scanned what? I don't know anyway um, get rid of these rocks I've got a guy here so I know what's going on at the Zelnaga Here comes his force. Army value, he's ahead here. Um, kills my guy, takes the tower. So, I start to saturate this base, put 11 on here. Got 21 here, so I think I need to pull some from there. So that's where we'd really want to pull some from. Drop some mules. And my economy is way better than his. So that's a good thing. And he's maxed out now, but I'm about to max out because of my economy advantage. And he's t putting his third down. Um, 
I decide that, let's see here, 21. So his saturation is terrible. My saturation is not great, but his is terrible. Um, and so then I decide it's time to move out, but more importantly than that, I want to, before I move out, I want to uh, build a command center. I have a third, maybe build a fourth, and then build a bunch of starports to transition into my uh, Sky Terran play. So here they are. Oh no, barracks, supply depots. Oh, I'm not there quite yet. I didn't max out quite yet. I'm about to max out. So I just kind of get myself in a good position. I got two Thors. Let's look at the unit composition here. I see that he's still there. In the unit composition tab, um, I have 22 Marines versus his 45, so he's got way more of that. He's got more Marauders. I've got more tanks. I've got a ton of Hellbats. And then he's got a bunch of Hellions. Um, I don't think he has the... He does not have the upgrades. Um, and then I've got a bunch of Vikings and Thors and Medivacs, which he doesn't have much of, comparably. So my army's going to be pretty good in that sense, as long as it, I keep my tanks around me. So I push in, and he's attacking my harvesters here. So I decide I'm going to kill his whole army. Needed those tanks to be in the battle. And I'm reproducing. So, he's killing harvesters, but I've sent most of my harvesters over here. So, I've sent most of my harvesters over here, so I've saved most of them. He killed a good amount this game, but I'm still in good shape. I don't mind that he's blue flaming my buildings, that's fine. I wanted to kill his army, so I had to make a game time decision here that I wanted to um, basically take his army out when there was no meat shield and then start to remax and let him kill well, a little bit of stuff in my base, some STDs, not most and a couple buildings but again he, not much and my starports are finishing up one, two, three, four starports finishing up I, oh there's an SCV that got killed here fourth base down better saturation for him, 20 15 What's my saturation looking like? Uh, so now, if you look at what's building here, I have 175 supply to his 110. He, you know, I, I've got a much bigger army. I didn't lose most of my army by splitting it up. And um, also, I've been remaxing with. Hellbats, Thors, tanks, marauders, marines, and I'm getting my fusion core for my battle cruiser. So I basically just uh, I'm just gonna back up one sec. I want to see what his vision is. So his whole force is up there, which is terrible positioning. I mean, not only have I killed this base, but he didn't have it out here at all, preventing any kind of attacks. So I kind of scan over here and decide I'm just going to park my force here. I've got, I'm back to harvesting here, here. I've got the supply depots. I'm kind of killing shit here, but no big deal there. Kill all this stuff. I mean, I just have a much bigger army. Are we maxed? Uh, 
Battle cruisers on the way as soon as my supply frees up because I'm at max supply. In the unit tab, I've got eight Vikings, seven Thors, Marines, Marauders. I'm plus two, plus two. He's plus zero, plus zero. I mean, I assume his bio had some upgrades. He was getting to plus two, plus two, so I had better upgrades. He does a drop here. Doesn't really matter though because I've got units here just chilling. So I go in, I wipe out his face. So I took one really good engagement. There's a bunch of harass in the beginning. I took one really good engagement. And then um, I let him come in and hurt my base. Kill, try to kill some SCVs and I just kind of saved everything. And uh, you know the unit loss tab was almost double for him. And I had an extra base that was mining. This base I could have still mined from. Um, you know, decent gas here. You know, it was pretty good. I mean, it worked out. That trade worked out well for me. Um, and let's just go quickly to the match history so if we look here at the performance I got supply locked a bit which is not good um, there was a lot going on I'm trying a new build and uh, it was like different types of harassment so it's not good but as I get better with the build I really want to work on that um, so I think this tells the story I was even though I was getting hit by my workers, I was constantly building workers. I had better upgrades and I had better resource collection. It was close, but I had better ultimately. And then the army value is the real story. So we both maxed out at roughly the same. He split his armies and I just went in and clobbered him and he lost all that to my losing that. So I took a really good engagement there by sending in a good unit composition with Thors, uh, Marauders, Marines, and then I also had Vikings to kill his air and uh, tanks if he was going to push into me. Um, so yeah, that's it.